Ah, you've come, and just in time. Vox has summoned Daedric cultists to make up for the Moorborn losses. Mother Morrowind ordered us to wait for the one who brings the blessing of Veloth to arrive. Lady Almalexia sent her ordinators to hold this position, but we are too few to go up against Vox's bolstered forces. A moment, please. Our lady knows of your arrival. Sit by the fire and she'll speak to you presently. to the hollow, just as I have foreseen. The blasphemer Vox has sealed herself behind powerful wards. While these wards are in place, she is hidden from me. Three wards protect her. One bound to the living, one to the dead, and one to the Daedric Plains. Destroy these wards, then you will be able to enter the blasphemer's lair. Strange lights emanate from three locations in the ruins above. That's where I look for the wards. Once they fall, the way into Vox's lair should be clear.
Make sure there aren't any traps. I grew up in Narcissus. Justice knows. shatters Vox's wards and defies her will. Why hasn't she consumed your soul as she has with all the others? How very interesting. Others have made this claim. Others have died. Still, I enjoy watching a good challenge. Hmm. I see you have powerful allies of your own. Almalexia and Veloth. But they can't help you here. You threaten Vox, enraging her, forcing her to commit even more brutal atrocities. How glorious. 
soon her army of Daedra and lost souls will march forth, unleashing new terrors across the land. Bold words, but your divines can't protect you here. Your goddess hides in her temple, while Vox wields the power of oblivion. How do you hope to stand against that? Veloth's blessing. So impressive. But a paltry blessing doesn't make you invincible. You did take down the wards, though. I'll give you that. Perhaps you do pose a challenge to Vox after all. You must learn Vox's secrets before you can hope to face her as an equal. Search for the three anima archives within. Let them pull you into the realm of memory. Let them show you how this little drama came to be. The archives will reveal Vox's past, letting you witness the events that brought us to this moment. Start with the Western Anima Archive and touch the Anima Crystal. Then speak to me and watch and learn. How could I witness this monumental event if I was somewhere else? As to who I am, well, at the moment I am your friend. Let's leave it at that. Vox wasn't always like this. Once she willingly served the Tribunal and was committed to its cause. Vox's son grew distant, more radical. He broke his mother's heart. Watch, listen. This is how Vox's dark journey begins. You mustn't do this, my son. Defying the Tribunal is a death sentence. Enough, mother! Your faith in false gods blinds you to the truth. You mustn't say such things, Miram. Silence, mother. The Daedric princes return. I welcome them as the true gods of this land. Please, Miram, come back. I don't want to see you get hurt.
The son listened when cunning Boethia whispered in his ear. He tried to steal an artifact from the tribunal temple, the hammer known as the Judgment of Veloth. Many of the tribunal's faithful died gloriously that day. Miram was caught and punished. Magistrix Vox witnessed her son's torment. She was powerless to intervene. My child, why have you spilled innocent blood? What has led you to perform such evil? You are a lie, Almalexia! A false god! I renounce you as the imposter you are! You show no remorse, and your crimes cannot be ignored. Let this be a lesson to all who would oppose the Tribunal. No, my lady. Mercy! I beg of you! He's my only son! What mercy did Miram show his victims? I am sorry, dear Yuri, but he has earned this punishment. Oh! Oh. Grief vowed revenge upon the three. Beautiful Boethia whispered in the mother's ear, revealing that faith isn't as strong as the bond between a mother and her child. Vox had been wronged. She'd been pushed too far. As a trusted servant of the Tribunal, Vox had access to their inner chambers and their most prized treasures. Almalexia believed Vox's devotion was strong, her faith unshakable. Almalexia was wrong. False gods. False justice. Miram was right. The Daedric princes must return, and blood must flow! Let them die. Let them rot. Let them feel my pain! No false gods can stop me! Yes! You really yes! Let your plague spread across the land as your rage fills you and makes you strong. But you need Veloth's hammer. You must take it for your own. The judgment. That's what my son sought to possess. Yes, it will be mine. And with judgment in my hand, the tribunal shall fall. Go! Gather your followers! Spread your plague, wield the hammer. With it, you can devour living souls and unleash your true power. <laughs> you think to hide from me, intruder? I see you. <laughs> Impressive. Her memory detected your presence. Look how her power grows. Your time is running out. This is so exciting. I think you'll have only one chance to stop her. 
You saw the pain that drove Vox to unleash the plague and rally them all born to glorious acts of violence. Now you understand her motives and are finally ready to face her. Well, except for the power of Veloth's hammer. You can't overcome that. Veloth's hammer allows Vox to strip away the souls of those she slays and imprison them in her misty realm. They lose their memories and grant her almost divine power. To challenge Vox, you need to set those souls free. I want to see a fair fight, but that can't happen here. Judgment keeps your silly gods at bay. There's only one sure course. You must die by the hammer Vox wheels. Once you enter her realm, you can collapse it from within. What are you worried about? You have Veloth's blessing. It's your connection to this world. Believe in yourself and in Veloth. The saint will protect you. And I can't wait to see how all this turns out. Don't disappoint me.